What is going on all my collectors? Welcome to the West Collects YouTube channel. If this is your first time watching, consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you like the content that I put out, by all means smash the like button. Definitely would appreciate it. Welcome back to another video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys two Make-A-Wish Funko Pops from the Funko Shop that is now added to my collection. Also, we're going to be discussing in this video, FOMO. I'm going to give you guys my opinion on FOMO and how some of these Make-A-Wish Funko Pops sold for $80 and more before they release. So sit back, relax, grab a snack, and let the video begin. Now before we get into these Funko Pops, I want to remind you guys that the giveaway is still going on right now and you have until April 15th to submit your entry. If you haven't watched that video, I will leave a link down in the description for you to go back and check that video out and follow all the instructions in that video so you have an opportunity to win April's giveaway. Now, let's go ahead, crack open my box from Funko. I only pulled the trigger on two of the Make-A-Wish Funko Pops from the Funko Shop. Uh, I tried to catch the Winnie the Pooh Hot Topic exclusive one in the wild. I wound up coming short because by the time I got to the store, they was all gone. And it wasn't the fact that they had a little supply. They had a lot of supply of them. I want to say about 30 in stock. So I just got there too late. And it seems like Funko did put some extra tape on my box. But cut this right open. And if you've been following me on Instagram, then I posted this box on Saturday when it arrived to my door with the damage. And I also stated that it felt like there was no protection inside this box. So we're about to see if these pops are damaged or if they have any protection in the inside. Please leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know if you pulled the trigger on any of these Make-A-Wish Funko Pops. And if so... How much did you pay? Did you get these for retail? Was you one of the people out there that had to pay resale or wanted to pay resale because you feared that you would miss out on these Funko Pops? Please leave your comment down in the comment section. Okay, thank you Funko. I was a little nervous because this box is beat up, but they did put these Funko Pops inside what I call the pizza box. So let's pull these things out and see exactly what I pulled the trigger on. And only reason I brought these two because these two to me stood out the most. Um, and I wanted them. So that's another reason why I wound up pulling the trigger on them. So when I get this little tab off. Alright. First, make a wish Funko Pop we're going to go over is going to be your neighborhood friendly guy, Spider Man. So check him out. On the Funko Shop, Spider-Man release along with the Funko Shop exclusive Iron Man. I believe Cashmere Cat was up there. Uh, the character from Star Wars. And I want to say one more if I'm mistaken or not. But yeah, let's take a look at Spider-Man. This is the famous action pose that they've been using for a while now. And this is dope, man. Another reason why I brought these Funko Pops was to support the cause of Make-A-Wish. I have some sneakers here in my collection that I brought from the St. Jude Hospitals Foundation um, where the, each year Nike select a few kids to make uh, certain shoes. They're called Dornbecker shoes. They release uh, in the wintertime for all my sneakerheads out there. You know exactly what I'm talking about. But for those that don't, I'm explaining it to you now. So I like participating in some of these charity uh, events. This is a form of a way of me giving back to these charities without actually uh, giving them money directly. So definitely dope. The reason I brought Spider-Man is because Bray is a Spider-Man fan. And this one here we're going to share. It's going to be both of ours. Um, I should have brought two. But by the time I went back and checked. Spider-Man has sold out as well as Iron Man. I believe Iron Man was the first one to go. Because it was the Funko Shop exclusive. But still definitely a dope one to grab to support the cause man. So check out the side of the box. Here is the back. And on the back it says, In honor and celebration of World Wish Day 2021, and as part of our Pops We Purpose program, Funko has donated $150,000 to the Make-A-Wish, an organization that creates life-changing wishes for children with critical illnesses. For more information on how you can get involved, visit, visit wish.com.org. 
So if you would like to take a further step and donate into Make a Wish, then go ahead and go hit that link up. For me, these is definitely dope, man. Uh, they didn't miss a beat, you know. I mean, you couldn't you couldn't get this wrong anyway. There's no way that you can get this wrong. It's just that good old Nipsey Blue, uh, Carolina Blue, you know, coloring on these pops right here. So Spider-Man was one that I grabbed. And the next is, of course, if you haven't guessed it, the Funko Shop exclusive, Iron Man. Now, before shooting this video, I wound up doing some research just to see if this was the first wave of Make-A-Wish uh, Funko Pops. And only thing that I can find as far as information uh, pertains to this stuff is that a Funko Freddy was released in 2018 along with a Glow in the Dark uh, Count Chocula, some serial looking figure um, that was part of the Make-A-Wish Foundation that's now, uh, I think, valued at 300 and something dollars if I'm not mistaken. So here's Iron Man. Definitely dope. Same thing on the Spider-Man boxes on the back of all of these boxes telling you about the foundation and how you can get more involved. And like I said before, man, this is a way for me to participate, give back to some foundations without directly giving them money. And I like it, man. I like it a lot. Now, you guys saw the Funko Pops. Let's go ahead and discuss about FOMO. It's been circling around on the internet before this drop release uh, because, you know, the information gets out there early. This is the stage that we in in life with social media, so things get posted before they get released and we know when they're going to come out before they actually do. But some people her, uh, paid like 80 to over $100 for these Funko Pops. And I'm wondering, did they pay that price is because they felt like they was going to miss out. They didn't, they wasn't going to have an opportunity to make it to the store or did they pay that price to have bragging rights, you know, to say, Hey, I got it first. You know, you don't have it yet. You know, that sort of a thing. So please leave a comment down in the comment section. Let me know because we all as collectors suffer from FOMO. We all do. Sometimes we feel like things is just going to sell out and we're not going to be able to get it. You know, so do I fault those people for doing those things? I totally don't. But do I feel like maybe they should have waited? Yes and no. You know, because at the end of the day, it's your money. You're going to spend it how you want to because I'm going to spend mine how I want to. And if you choose to buy something early because you feel like you ain't going to have that fair shot at getting that item, by all means, spend your money how you please. You know, so I just wanted to... Uh, touch on that topic you know it's been floating around and as collectors we go through this i don't know if you guys go through it a lot for me i don't go through it as much but you know i do experience it from time to time where i feel like i might miss out on that so you know i'm gonna go ahead and pull the trigger now secure mine that way i don't have to worry about that headache you know and i know these uh ones right here i believe some people probably think that uh, because they're making wish Funko Pops that these are going to skyrocket in value. For me, I'm going to just give my opinion and say it's going to be some time before these actually shoot up in price. For those that got them early, you know, maybe you uh, maybe you feel some kind of way that you didn't pay that $100 and maybe you would have had an opportunity or you had an opportunity to actually get them in store or on the Funko Shop when these release on the release date. And now you feel kind of salty that you spent that extra money. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. You know, that's on you, not on me. Because anything that I buy, I'm all right with it. You know, might be a little mad on certain things because maybe I should have waited. But that, again, is what FOMO is. The fear on missing out on obtaining something that we want because we are collectors. So I'm going to leave it at that. You guys state your opinion down in the comment section agree or disagree you know we all here to enjoy these Funko Pops as a collective and I appreciate everybody for rocking out with the channel I'm gonna leave it at that if you ain't subscribed be sure to subscribe we almost at 900 subscribers still on that road to 1000 subscribers as well and I catch you guys in a brand new video this upcoming weekend that is gonna be it smash the like button if you please definitely would appreciate it 
I'm up out of here. It's your boy, West Collects. I'm gone. Peace.